Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another American Horror Story Coven. This will be episode 11. And as you can see, I changed my room around. Again. Because why not? Why not? Uh, you can see just over there this is that's where i had my desk uh last time but i'm able to put my desk over here now because i had to get rid of some furniture that was over here which is blocking up my room i wasn't using it um so i got rid of that so now i've got more space episode 10 of coven was quite a big one something happened in it that i didn't think would happen like the way it did uh, that was Nan dying to Marie and Fiona I never thought I'd see Fiona and Marie teaming up to kill witches of the coven like that is what Marie has always wanted she's always hated witches and she goes to the house for a truce with Fiona Little does Marie know, Fiona wants to kill the witches. So it's like, it's the perfect scenario for Marie. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but Marie must be loving it. I know she's, she's got some weird deal she's got with this papa guy who likes to snort cocaine and take innocent babies' lives to sacrifice. So she could have another year of, imm of immortality. I think he comes every year, but a random time. And she has to has she has to have an innocent baby to give to him in order for her to receive immortality. Uh, Fiona tried striking a deal with him, but he went to kiss her, and he said the deal is off. You have no soul to give. So then Fiona was like, "Okay, I'll give you the soul of Nan," but it didn't work. And then Nan appeared behind Papa. And he said, oh, I've got I've got all the treats in hell for this little girl or something like that. So maybe Nan will be fine. Nan might be well looked after. If there's sweets and stuff and movies for Nan, that's fine by me. And obviously Luke got killed by his mum by being suffocated with a pillow. I mean, if there's an afterlife where Luke and Nan can be together, then yeah, fair enough. Nan also killed the mum by forcing the mum to drink bleach. And Madison put Misty Day inside a coffin and then into like a tomb thing. That's about it. And Stevie Nicks was in it as well for Misty Day because Misty Day was a huge fan. Anyway, cool. So let's get into it. I saw the thumbnail of this episode. It was um, Spalding. Looks like he was on top of some stairs with a, like a doll in his hand. So yeah so this is it episode 11 it's called protect the coven what the hell is going on i'm sorry man i tried to stack the boxes up myself i'm hurt bad let's see what we can do here oh. gonna chop his Chop his leg off, man. Let me let me see. Maybe we have some rags up here. <clears throat> She's bluffing. Why would she care for someone? Here, here, bind this up right quick. She's gonna chop it off. We want to stop that blood. Okay, I don't know why the last line she said makes sense now. I was a bit confused as to why, what the flashback was about, but that was her first kind of kill. I get it now. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that earlier. I think it's because she mentioned France, <clears throat> and I know that's that's where the real Delphine escaped to when uh, she was found out about her crimes. Um, the actual real Delphine. Lalaurie fleed to France once her 
all the slaves in the attic and stuff were found. I think actually it was one of her maids that started a fire. And I think I think uh, I think police found her chained up to the stove. And I think the maid started a fire to kill herself, but it got out of hand that it caused uh, a lot of attention. And that's how Marie, uh, that's how Delphine Lafleurie was found out. But anyway, I think it's because she mentioned France. I, it totally went over my head that she just moved there. I thought, yeah, cool. I, I I understand it now. And so it is with great sadness we must say goodbye to Nan, who fell in the tub. Amen. Fell in the tub. No. What? She. She stitched their head back on. Come on, use the sight or something. See where Misty Day is. She's in that one, isn't she? You left your dirt in the commode. Did you flush it? <laughs> you flush my shit, bitch. Oh. Coconut. Cardamom. Malagatoni soup. I've been transported to Rajasthan. Bravo, Delphine. Magnifique. Don't tell me it was oh, Madison shit, man. Don't tell me that. Sorry to intrude, Cordelia. I was pruning your fig trees. Oh, figs are oh, figs. Mother Nature's brown Ooh. diamonds. Miss Cordelia, why don't you go on and finish your breakfast and I'll see the... James, was it? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Because being a hostess was never enough for my restless mind. And I realized it was my childlike curiosity. I'll get to the fingers later. But let's start with your toes. <laughs> this little piggy <laughs> went to market. <laughs> this little piggy <laughs> stayed home. This little piggy right here had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried. Oh, yeah! Okay, I don't like Delphine anymore. I was beginning to warm to her, but. And as for you, Kendall, well, putting you together was fun. But taking you apart is going to be even more fun. Madison turned into an absolute bitch, an absolute cow. You say that and kill her? I can provide you with the means. I, d I don't know how you kill her, man. But you have to do something for me first. Yeah, whatever. What is it? What? Venture out into the world and retrieve an item. It won't be cheap. I don't know how she's going to kill Marie. But how did you survive? Turns out I got some new powers. I shot him right through my skull. Bullet? Yeah. He shot you in this? Yes. And I survived. I'm starting to think I might be the next Supreme. Not even a silver bullet can stop me. Thank you. No offense. But since I left, one which is dead and another one is missing. You are just as weak as you've ever been. Might want to take one long-ass vacation. Let somebody else run this joint for a while. You know, get out. Now! Whoa, man. That's the head of Robber Show's Academy. You don't talk to her like that, Queenie. You're still a student, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Is that? Is this is this really worth it to get the site back? Is it worth? Is it is it really worth it? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, 
maybe she felt like she could see more when she was blind because she had the sight. The potion that will render the voodoo queen mortal and allow you to end her life. A few capsules dissolved in her drink. Bernadette, what? It's an actual medicine, is it? Ben. Shh, don't ever speak aloud. I just. That powerful. I just. I have no idea. I just did. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. Take these tickets to Epcot and I charge yours and pack your bags. Epcot? Isn't that in Florida? Is it the guys? Oh. I, I really couldn't care about these guys. Be ready for anything. But keep the dogs in. <clears throat> these bitches have to walk out of here untouched. But I could not care less. Thank you. Collateral damage. Look. Here's the truth. This war is a thing of the past. Who's the butler? Because she he just touched Fiona. This document is signed by every director in this room. It calls for a 100 year truce. No witch hunting of any kind until all of us who can die are long dead. This is the end. We give up. Yeah, yeah, man. I spotted it early. Who's the person serving drinks? You disband this little merry troop of assholes, vowing never to harm another witch from now until the end of time. <laughs> They're going to refuse and die. I'd also like you to sign over your house in Barclay Square to me, but paint it first. God knows all the money in the world can't buy good deals. Oh, it's well, no. Oh like shit. Axeman, baby. Ask him if they like jazz. Why isn't he looking? Why isn't that guy to the right there saying anything? Maybe you're right. He can see the axe. Then here's my other offer. You can all just die. Oh, what a shot. Why? Right. How is he pouring himself a tea? You got any last words? Go to hell, witch bitch. Oh, she's gonna do it herself? Yes, she is. Ooh. I'm kind of glad these guys are dead. I could not care less. Like I said, they came in too late to the show. I'm already invested in the, all the other characters. I didn't like those guys at all. The beginning of a long, long friendship. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Where do you think you're going? Dissolved? To hail the conquering hero. <laughs> Has Delphine dissolved something? In a drink? I told you. I'm not finished. But you are. Ah! They... Damn you. Whoa! Ah, she ain't gonna die, man. She ain't gonna die falling down the stairs. Get out of here. <clears throat> Episode 11, and it's still showing Spalding doing this shit. Even in the afterlife, like, it's just not changed. Why did he want this doll, though? What? Oh. 
Uh, is that why he wanted Marie out of his hair so he could have the kid? Uh, too good to be true. Orlando. Oh, that's right, yeah, Epcot. Oh, it's a bus, though. It's a bus. It's a, it's a bus. Oh, is it going to end there? Okay, 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 okay. Do you know what? I thought then, because they were getting on a bus, I thought Madison was going to flip it upside down again and kill everyone on that bus. But I guess they're not. They're actually escaping. They're getting out of there. The coven's too much. The coven is falling apart. And they don't want fucking anything to do with it. Good on him. You had Madison threaten your boyfriend, saying it's going to be even funner unmaking you. You got the head, you got the supreme, who's killing everyone. I don't know how suspicions aren't being raised at Nan's funeral. Like, every death that's happened that people know about has been because of Fiona, and people know that Fiona has done him. But for Nan, it's just like, oh yeah, she fell in. Fiona said, yeah, rest in peace, Nan, who fell in the bath. Yeah, and everyone was like, hmm. Everyone's believing that. Nan fell in the bath and died. Everyone's believing that, are they? Zoe found out the truth. Madison came in. Uh, you, oh, you having a romantic bath or whatever she said. So no one's even interested in the truth anymore, it seems. Delphine started off again where she left off 150 years ago. She just, she's not losing that kind of, I don't know, that weird passion for hearing screams. Or, uh, her, I don't even know, man. It's weird what she's got going on. She even said it. She said she likes hearing the screams. She likes seeing all the blood. And she has no purpose in life. And if she's immortal, 150 years in the future, and she has no purpose, I guess her mindset is like, I might as well carry on what I was doing. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, you can't get the death penalty. And I was thinking halfway through, if she, say if she commits like multiple murders, and she goes to court, etc. And they're like, you know how some sentences people get like, 250 years in prison like that could actually work for Delphine like she can't die she can't die she literally can't die so if she goes to prison she's all she has to do is wait like all that time and she'll just come out and start killing again she's just going to be like a repetitive serial killer I don't know that's just a weird theory I have like the show the show's gonna end with her being like a serial killer coming in and out of prison like serving her time as well because the court would be like yeah 250 years i'm sure she'll learn a lesson her huh? not knowing that she's immortal and then she'll actually survive 250 years but everyone that sentence her at the time will be dead there'll be new inmates around her new guards a new like kind of system and then she'll just keep coming out. I don't know. I don't know why I'm mentioning that. It's just something that came into my head. But anyway, yeah. Zoe's the one that found, that knows it was Marie and Fiona that drowned Nan. Cordelia, we didn't actually see a lot of her after she stabbed her eyes. I don't think we saw any of Cordelia when she stabbed her own eyes. I think that theory's right, though, what I said. She sees a lot more when she's blind than when she has eyes. Because there's so many secrets being kept from her that when she had the sight, she could almost see everything. But when she's got two eyes, she can't see anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, secrets are being kept from her, so she can't see them. I think that's why she wanted to do it. But how much does Fiona have to do for Cordelia to be like, okay, enough's enough. Everyone seems to have forgotten that Fiona burnt Myrtle at the stake and killed Madison. 
like if Cordelia finds out that Fiona killed Nan, would that be the last straw? Would that be like, okay, yeah, we need to, we need to do something about Fiona, because like three or two or three episodes ago, Cordelia sat down with Madison, Nan, and Zoe, and said to them, "We need to kill Fiona. We need to kill her good, or something like something along those lines, like proper speaking." In the most serious way possible about killing her own mother and then like they're all fine again attending nan's funeral as if everything's okay misty day we didn't see any misty day she was trapped she's still trapped in that tomb i don't know how she's eating or drinking maybe now we'll find out if she actually is supreme maybe <clears throat> maybe she can die of starvation and that but she can resurrect herself outside of the tomb maybe and then she'll turn up and say, Madison did this to me. And then that, that's how Madison gets dismantled from the whole shebang. I don't know who the, I don't know who the Supreme is, honestly. If Misty Day, oh, she always, Misty Day already resurrected herself. Maybe Misty Day is the Supreme then. Because when, um, when Fiona was like being sick in the toilet and saw Madison for the first time again, Madison said, oh, I resurrected myself, bitch. I'm the next Supreme. And then Fiona was like, whoa, as if resurrecting yourself is a sign that you're the next supreme that's how like taken back she was that's what i picked up on anyway and spalding as well the only reason he wanted marie out of the way was so she he could look after the kid and have his own doll i'm pretty sure that's the only that's what he was actually after and i can't believe delphine fell for the the box obviously del spalding was quite clever because he knows that delphine's not going to know what this is it was like Bernadil or something. Just some painkiller, I think it was. But Delphine don't know that. Do you know what I mean? If you gave a painkiller to someone 150 years ago, and you said, oh, you got a headache? Here, take this really small tablet with water. They, they wouldn't believe you, would they? And all those witch hunters, I, I'm saying it so many times, but this is the last time I'll say it because they're all dead now. I do not care about them at all. They got introduced too late to the series. And the jazz man, you know what, yeah, yeah, I'm confused, yeah. So the jazz man, he was kind of like locked forever. Not forever, but for a while. When he was killed by those witches, when he was like, if, if no one plays jazz music, I'm going to kill him. Then he went to the witch's house because they weren't playing jazz music. They killed him and he was trapped there. And then Zoe done the Ouija board to like kind of set him free but not completely and then they'd done the spell with the book that so he could walk around like wherever he wanted to be but how come he gets to make himself visible to mortals like Spalding done it as well to Delphine but maybe Delphine could no Delphine's not dead. I don't know. I don't get how Spalding can make himself known to Delphine when he's dead. Like, spirits shouldn't be able to do that. Like, Spalding was in the afterlife or spirit world when Fiona kind of was. When she took them pills. That was, like, believable because I believe she fell into... Not, like, unconsciousness, but, like, sort of three quarters of the way there to being completely dead. And then Spalding intervenes in the spirit world to stop it. But he could just make himself known anyway to Delphine. And so can the Axe Man to all those witch hunters. Unless the book or the spell that Zoe used was actually he can live amongst people and make himself known so they can see him. I don't know. I think the last thing was Queenie coming back to the house just being like rude as fuck to cordelia like yes like yelling at her to get out of her room like you portrayed the witches man you went over to the other side to the voodoo lot and now you've come back and you're complaining that your room has been your room's been given away like as if you're on vacation or something and you were they were expecting you to come back like you literally crossed over to the other side with delphine with you like with a with a servant of your house even cordelia said queenie's dead to her when she sat down with zoe madison and nan 
she was like, it's a shame you've lost Queenie, but she's dead to me. But she was a bit like, mm. she was a bit like scared of Queenie a little bit. Maybe she wouldn't, maybe Cordelia wouldn't be like that at all if she was still blind and had the sight. I think it is though. I've noticed, <clears throat> I've noticed the lack in confidence with Cordelia ever since she got her eyesight back. She was very confident. Um, when she didn't have eyes, her eyes, but she had the sight. Very confident. But now she's not. Um, let's hope she gets the sight back, though. Now that she's, I don't know, stabbed both her eyes. Sounds really harsh, but let's hope she has her sight back. Otherwise, she won't be able to see again, and she won't be able to have the sight. So it's like, it's not really a win-win situation, is it? <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to stop it there. I think I've mentioned pretty much everything in the episode. As far as predictions go, I don't really know who this next Supreme is. It might um focusing more towards Misty. Just because Madison was Madison was a right little bitch that episode and she's turning a bit evil, so I don't I don't think she's gonna be Supreme. But Misty Day is looking like more Misty Day. But yeah. I'm going to stop it there. So, thanks guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this reaction, you can watch the full reaction over on my Patreon. You can also watch the full reactions to the previous 10 episodes of Coven. And you can also watch the full reactions to every episode of Murder House and Asylum, all on my Patreon. And if you don't already know, I've got an early access feature on my Patreon. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is episode 10, that would definitely mean that episode 12, no, this is episode 11, sorry, episodes 12 and 13, the finale, will be on my Patreon to watch in full, so you've got the whole 45 minutes instead of just 10 on YouTube that are always cut down, people complain that I miss out on their favourite scenes, but it's like, if you really want to watch the whole thing, with my reaction like it's there like the opportunity to do that is the link in the description you know so i guess i'll see you guys for episode 11 12 12 uh yeah take it easy